built-in financial reporting wizard makes gaining access to your company's financial data a breeze. Mass90 ships with three predefined financial reports, a balance sheet, statement of cash flow, and an income statement. You can also use the financial reporting wizard to define quarterly and trend reports. Let's take a look at how easy a new financial report can be created by creating a trend report. Each report must have a unique name. We will call this trend report and select trend report as a report type. The report title defaults to the name of the report type, but we can change that if we like. Next, we'll create a new report group called monthly. Trend reports are income statements printed for successive series of financial periods. The same options are available for trend reports as for income statements, including a combined statement that prints data for all accounts. The data format for trend reports allow us to print actual period data, budget data for a specific budget, or variance data from the prior fiscal year. Trend reports may also be printed for up to 13 trailing periods, starting from the reporting period, or a specific range of periods may be specified. Using the trailing period function, you can view trend reports that cross over fiscal year boundaries. Formatting options are available to support printing financial statements when Mass90 is used in countries outside the United States, such as a variable decimal and thousand separators, and the ability to print either no currency symbol or choose among the standard dollar sign, pound sterling, euro, or yen symbol. Next, we can select if we want to print GL account numbers or print accounts with zero balances for additional reporting flexibility. Based upon the different report types, different selection criteria would appear. The Financial Footnotes page allows you to find a separate footnote for each report that is printed. Footnotes may be copied from existing financial reports, and an option is provided to allow the footnote text to be overridden when the report is printed. Next, we can limit the trend report to specific accounts or ranges of accounts using the selection grid. The report defaults to all accounts, but again, we have the option to allow this to be overridden at runtime. Finally, we complete the financial reporting wizard. We are presented with a summary of our options. We can check the box to print this report immediately upon finish. The new report has been added to the selection dialog. Notice that the report belongs to the default group of monthly. If we look at the Report Group drop box at the top of the panel, we can see that the Report Group Monthly has been added to the system. Let's select this report group. Our trend report is part of the new monthly group. We can maintain our groups, selecting the icon next to the Report Group box to enter Report Group Maintenance. As you can see, our monthly group consists of only our new report. We can add additional reports to the group by adding them to the data sheet. Let's go ahead and add the standard income statement to this report group by selecting it from the lookup icon. When we close the financial group maintenance dialog and return to the monthly group, you will notice that the standard income statement will now be printed by default with the monthly report group. We could add this report group to the listing of reports generated during period end processing to automatically print. Let's proceed and see what options we have prior to actually printing this report. Like any other report, we may select to print this to any printer available to the workstation, in addition to exporting, emailing, or faxing this report. As you have seen, creating custom financial reports is just a few mouse clicks away. For more reporting information, please see the Reporting Capabilities Specification Sheet located at www.bestsoftware.com.